Yo guys and welcome back to this new video here on the channel and on today's video we are going to discuss the Ethereum price action where we are right now creeping in towards this falling wedge and we are coming closer and closer towards a breakout point for the Ethereum one hourly candle so it is very likely to assume that Ethereum is about to create a huge move here within the coming 24 hours so if this sounds interesting for you make sure to right away smash up that like button since first of all you will be supporting the cryptocurrency space because the more people that are right now going to smash up that like button the more viral cryptocurrency videos are going on youtube and the more we are going to expose people towards it so yeah we'll be highly appreciated if you're going to do so as well hit that subscribe button if you're interested and of course more of these updates videos that we are doing here on the market since we have been absolutely crushing it and i will be as well already telling it i will be as well revealing my price targets and a potential trade setup what i will be personally at at least retrading here on the ethereum so let's go right away into the video uh and let's start off with discussing the ethereum valuation here so ethereum of course if we're looking towards it if it of course increased 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 uh, but right now it's cooled off here it formed of course the lower high structure together with the lower low structure but right now i am seeing a very clear pattern which usually signifies a reversal and this is of course a falling wedge as uh, yeah for sure 60 towards 80 percent of these falling wedges break out towards the upside and even reach its price target so of course if we are going to see a breakout from the point that we're right now trading on this is going to be an approximately eight percent move towards the upside what is, of course, a very, very nice move that I at least want to be catching since 8% will be as well equaling towards 80% with me using my 10x leverage. So... I will be right away explaining um, why it is very likely to see this price target getting reached here. Since if I'm enabling the momentum indicators right now of the RSI and the MACD, it is confirming my thoughts very significantly. So yeah, we are seeing a falling wedge getting created. That's a very bullish by its pattern. But together with that, we are right now as well seeing an R the RSI forming a higher low here where the price action still has been clearly forming this lower low structure over here. So we have been forming a lower low on the price action, higher low on the RSI. This is, of course, resulting in a bullish divergence on the Ethereum one only chart and is well signifying that we are most likely going to move up from here on. We already start to do so and right now, personally, expect even more pushes towards the upside since it will be for sure following Bitcoin and Bitcoin is generally already looking pretty solid right now. As well, on the MACD, we are seeing the exact same line here playing out. We're seeing the low getting formed here on the left side, low in the chart higher low in the chart getting created here but the mcd is saying okay we're forming a higher low uh, where of course the price is actually forming a lower low uh, this is uh, telling me okay the sellers are losing their strength and the buyers are gaining back the strength in the market and this could be really resulting in a very significant move towards the upside getting created here so i definitely can't wait to see uh, yeah, when we are going to see this move getting created here since we could be already see it once the video is live or maybe of course it can be taking another 10 hours over here so make sure that you're going to pay attention towards this chart right now here and if you are willing and if you're interested in taking this trade with me and i will be already telling you uh, this is going to be a fairly easy trade since we are seeing of course uh, the significance of the momentum indicators right now telling us that we're going to break towards the upside um, it is very likely to see the market as well move up towards this level right to 3000 uh, 3263 us dollars so yeah the price target for me will be 3263 us dollars the point of where i will be opening it is of course depending on when we're going to break out here, but as soon as we're seeing one, I only can the close outside of it. I will be looking for a long position here on Ethereum. If you are interested in that for sure, make sure to follow me here on Twitter since I will be as well right away telling you guys once I open my trade over here. So make sure to follow me already at Rover CRC. And as well, if you're following me, you're, yeah, first of all, already staying up to date about what we are seeing in the market because we already give you guys all these heads up here right now. And you can see, of course, as well on Bitcoin, Ethereum, and as well some other altcoins here on our Twitter page. So make sure to follow that if you're interested in technical analysis here as well um but for sure very nice uh, and beautiful to see what we're currently having here so let me move on further towards the next chart and also uh, what it is probably very likely to see still another move towards the upside getting created here first of all I want to be saying yeah we want to be careful we are clearly in a downtrend that's the thing that i can currently see here but right now it looks to be that the uh, the strength is turning and as well if you're zooming in towards the rsi you can see yeah we're forming higher lows once again here and still lower lows in the price action so it's not only the one hourly candles that are currently telling me that, that we are seeing a divergence it is as well the four hourly candles that is as well telling me okay rover we're seeing a divergence of the four hour 
um, this could be resulting in a trend reversal and this could be leading of course towards higher prices getting reached once again um, and as well if you're looking generally speaking towards the Fibonacci that we set up here from the swing low towards the swing high you can see it looks to be that we're getting a double bottom um, double bottom right now some kind of a double bottom uh, swing a swing pattern failure you can also call it so you correct towards the downside then you go for another correction then you start to move up uh, looks like a very likely scenario that is right now playing playing out over here since yeah the 0.236 here the 2957 US dollars we already discussed this level yesterday as well here is an extreme strong level of support and I will be for sure anticipating this level to hold on to our, uh, hold on for the price action of Ethereum and why are you going to say it as well if we're going to fall and if we are failing to hold on to this level um, my next accumulation zone will be of course the 2720 US dollars but I'm not highly anticipating that level yet here as well we have this orange box here above us what is of course uh, being providing us massive resistance in the past and um, this could be as well provide us very strong support so either we are very close to top bottoming out here but personally I will be already say um, this drop off is already done and we could be starting to move up from here once again so yeah make sure that you're going to keep your eyes out on Ethereum of course as well on Bitcoin but there are going to, uh, to be some very significant moves to be made here anytime soon here so yeah it looks generally speaking very good here as well if you're looking to the email ribbon I'm seeing only a little bit uh, more bearish thing right now since we're trading below the email ribbon and let me remove these lines real quickly you can see we're trading below the email ribbon of course if you're trading above the email ribbon you are finding support on it and if you're trading below it you're going to just find some resistance at it and we already got rejected over here so yeah this is still a very major level of resistance but we have to be breaking through um but for sure i will be keeping everyone up to date since we have been seeing it as well in the past several times here um in in this phase over here yeah we could be of course go bearish and right away flip bullish once again here these things tend to happen uh, several times in the past here so um definitely because we're right now pretty bullish and the market is moving up very quickly and yeah we could be really see this uh, move towards the ups again getting created here especially because of this falling wedge right now getting created as well here on the one early candle so uh, let me move further right away here let me as well discuss the Ethereum compared to Bitcoin valuation. And right now as well, let me right away say this. Um, we are once again trading at good accumulation zone because I already told everyone before, uh, resistance, support, support, support. If you're buying on this orange box over here, you're generally doing a very good job since this is a support box. And if you're selling on the top side, you're as well doing a good job since you're selling at resistance. So yeah, definitely... Uh, good times to accumulate right now in if you're looking to the US dollar valuation but as well if you look to the Bitcoin valuation compared to Ethereum um, it looks as well like yeah this is a good time to accumulate as well we're seeing some uh, some bullish divergence playing out right now in the four hour if you're looking to the daily of course for me, it looks to be uh, showing calm before the storm. We as well broke out of the symmetrical triangle. We are consolidating ever so slightly before making another leg up here, in my opinion. So, uh, personally, I do expect Ethereum to still outperform Bitcoin here in the coming days, anytime soon here once again. And uh, we have been forming, of course, a higher low than the pre uh, sorry, a higher high than the previous high. So the trend looks, uh, generally speaking, as well very healthy towards the upside right now. Uh, we formed as well a new low. We could be uh, running up once again further and further. So make sure that you're going to pay attention and don't lose your attention on Ethereum right now here, since you want to be buying, of course, where everyone is, of course, getting a little bit more bearish here. So, yeah, guys, this was already it for the video. You know what to do here. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you want to be seeing more of this content here as well, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell notification as well. Make sure to hit that like button since it will be helping me out for sure, but as well the cryptocurrency space in general since we will be pushing this space further and further and we will be getting recommended everywhere on YouTube, even though if you're not into crypto, you will be seeing us here. So, guys, thank you so much for watching here and I will check you guys in the next one. Peace out.